thanks for watching. This is a response to the person who asked how to pronounce bad luck, padlock, and potluck. So I will be talking about these words. First of all, I'd like to say that each of these is two syllables. This first example is actually two one-syllable words, the word bad and the word luck. These two are single words with two syllables each, okay? When we pronounce bad luck, both syllables are stressed. He had bad luck, both syllables. When we pronounce padlock, only the first syllable is stressed, pad. And when we pronounce potluck, it has two pronunciations, the standard or dictionary pronunciation, which is probably the one you should learn, stresses both syllables, pot, luck. But there is a widespread non-standard pronunciation where many people pronounce this by stressing only the first syllable. If you're just learning this word, you should probably learn the dictionary pronunciation, which stresses both. So, bad luck stresses both, and pot luck usually stresses both. Pad luck only stresses the first syllable. Spelling does not always tell us how to pronounce a word, but in this case, it does. And we can see that in these two words, they both have the letters AD and AD. Both of these are pronounced AD with the A vowel sound and a D. Bad, pad, bad, pad. So these two syllables sound almost the same. Bad, pad. They are different though in the first sound. Both of these first sounds are made in a similar way with our lips closed, b for the first sound and p for the second sound. The difference is that this one is voiced, this one is unvoiced. And with this one, we get a little bit more air pushed out when we make it. B, p, b, p. Again, this is a voiced sound, so it's using the vocal cords. B, p. This one has more air. B, p. Bad, pad. Bad, pad. Okay? When we look at this word now, or the first part of this word, we see it starts with the same letter, and in this case, the same sound, as this word. So this also starts with P. I have to close my lips to make that sound, then open them and release a puff of air. P. But the rest of the, that syllable is not the same. This is AT. The vowel sound is different and the consonant is also different. This vowel sound is A. This one is A. Here I've got the transcriptions. A, A, pad, pot. So, A, 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 A. Notice with this one, my lips are spread a little bit more this way. With this sound, they are not. A, A. A, A. Okay? I like to hear. Pad, pot. Pad, pot. So if I just do the first two sounds, pa, pa. Pa, pa. But then we have a consonant. Pad. This is the d sound. It's a voiced sound. This is t. 
voiceless sound. However, when we say this, when we actually say the sound, we don't complete it normally. If I were to complete this sound, it would sound like t. When it's not completed, it, I put my tongue in position to make that t, but I don't really release the air. It's as if I'm stopping that sound short. Pot, pot. If I pronounce it completely, it's pot, pot. But we usually don't, so it sounds like pot, pot. I'm putting my tongue in position for the t, but I don't complete the sound. So we have bad, pad, with the same vowel sound, same d consonant, but a different starting sound. Then we have pad, pot, pad, pot. Okay, different vowel sounds, different consonant sounds. Let's take a look at the second syllable. This is luck, and this is also luck. These two are the same. Luck, luck. This is the same vowel sound that we have in the word love, and also the word but, okay? So, luck, love, la, la, okay? So, it's the same vowel sound as here. Luck, love, luck, love, and I said the word but. When it's stressed, we use this symbol. When it's unstressed, we use this symbol. So the vowel in luck sounds like the vowel in love and but. Luck. This vowel sound is different. It's ah, it's the same one as in pot. So lock, pot, oops, sorry. <laughs> lock, pot, this should look like that. Lock, pot, it's the same vowel sound. Let me pronounce all three words for you. All three expressions. Bad luck, stress on both syllables. Padlock, stress only on the first. Potluck, stress on both syllables most of the time. However, some speakers stress only the first. Potluck, so you may hear that also, okay? Bad luck, padlock, potluck. I fixed this a little bit, uh, made this vowel the same as this one. And I've also added a stress mark here. I neglected to write that earlier. Let me pronounce these words now for you. And notice that I've made some red marks here. These red marks indicate the stress on a syllable. If there's a red mark, it means the syllable just in front is stressed. So in this word, pot luck, I have a stress mark on the first syllable and also on the second syllable. Okay, but in this word, padlock, I only have stress on the first syllable. All right, please listen. Bad luck, padlock. Bad luck, padlock. Bad luck, potluck. Bad luck, potluck. Here I have potluck twice. This is the standard dictionary pronunciation. This one is non-standard, but many people use it. This is the one that only has stress in the first syllable. So let me do these. Padlock, potluck, padlock, potluck, padlock, potluck, padlock, potluck. Let me just pronounce these so you can hear the difference in stress, okay? This one has stress on both syllables. This one has stress only on the first syllable. Potluck, potluck, okay? And 
And I have a few sentences for you using these words. He had bad luck fixing the gate. There's a padlock on the gate. There's a potluck supper on Sunday. Oh, by the way, I have videos comparing these different sounds. So if you want practice on or just information um, on these sounds, b and p, for example, I have a video on that. If you want to compare vowel sounds such as a and a, I have a video on that. And if you want to compare d and t, I have a video on that. And I will soon have videos on stress as well. So please look at my other videos if you would like more information. Thanks for watching.